In this video, we will use Project Manager to duplicate materials and change material properties so that calculations can be run with different alternatives. This mode of thinking can be applied across all types of applications with excellent results. Here we have an imported 3D DWG file of a small office building. Suppose we're interested in running some daylight calculations and we'd like to be able to easily manipulate the glazing transparency as we try to meet criteria. Open Project Manager. Load the imported CAD file. All 3D entities were imported as objects, so they show up in the Entity Type menu. There are no contents in Project 1, as we haven't added anything in AGI 32 at this point. Scroll down and locate the windows. We could multi-select the windows and act on their properties this way. But let's try a fresher approach. Click in the Project list and select a new project. Let's call it Glazing 50%. Now let's select the windows. Back to the top, select, to the bottom, shift select, and select Transfer from the right-click menu. Transfer them to the Glazing 50% project. Note there are now no windows in the original project. They've all been moved to Glazing 50%. Let's right-click again and create another new project. Call it Glazing 60%. Now let's load the Glazing 50% project. Click in the upper left corner to select all of the windows and let's copy the windows to Glazing 60%. So now we have two separate projects with windows. Let's load the Glazing 60% windows select all, go to surface edit, select all surfaces and change the transparency to 60 percent. This is excellent because now we can actually move between the 60 percent and 50 percent glazing windows and run different calculations. We can do this by simply disabling the 60 percent windows and now when we run the calculations we'll get 50 percent transmittance. Or Likewise, we can enable the glazing 60% and run the calculations with 60%. This is easy and very handy. All right, now let's simplify the model a bit in preparation for initial round of calculations. Create another new project. Call it Furniture. Now let's load the original imported project and let's find the furniture. Select. There are actually partitions as well that are part of the furniture, so select them as well. And transfer those to the furniture project. Perfect. Now we can actually disable the furniture project to simplify our calculations. If we click Preview, we'll notice by moving the window that the furniture is actually gone. Fantastic! This allows the calculations to work with an empty space. You may want to disable small details as well to simplify the project for iterative calculations. For example, let's disable and lock the door handles. Right-click menu, disable. Right-click menu, lock. The locking is not actually necessary, however, it does prevent us from inadvertently enabling the items. Are you getting the hang of it? How about if we wanted to experiment with the floor reflectance as well? We could easily create a separate project for just the floor, then copy it in the same way we did the windows. We could then switch back and forth between different floor reflectance possibilities. There are all kinds of ways to make your work more manageable using Project Manager. Use your imagination.